Guys, miso soup is my CMY recipe of joy as a Hokkien lang. There's actually a secret ingredient to cook this soup that I finally correct it from my mm. Like, let's cook the soup first. Blanch chicken carcass for 5 minutes. Jean, what is impurities? Nah, this lah. Mostly blood lah. Then clean it and set aside first. The secret ingredient for flavorful soup is this. Just go eat. Who knew? My family's miso soup is clear but super umami. I knew there was chicken but I couldn't tell what makes it even more flavorful because I never seen traces of dry squid in the soup. You can grill with steam rack but I use this kapit thingy. Just make sure it's charred evenly and the aroma is released here. Yeah? I use pressure cooker because ain't nobody got time to jaga the soup on stove for hours, man. We add ginger, dried squid, chicken carcass, raw sugar, store bought chicken stock because my pot can't add more chicken carcass, cooking wine, our Muslim friend can skip here, more water, white pepper, and salt. Pressure cook for 25 minutes, scoop some out to cook the miswa dish, blur blur straw mushrooms, then add miswa. Miswa cook already take out first, blanch greens for 20 seconds, I use iceberg lettuce, then done leo. The way we eat this miswa is paired with red eggs and chili padi ketchup. Simplicity at its best, guys. So here it is, my family's Hokkien Mi Soa. This is meant to be breakfast, you know, once you got up, everyone gathers and then we all will just eat this together, you know, peel the eggs and then start slurping away. It's just Mi Soa, but it's actually absorbing the umami flavour of the soup packed with flavour, you know. Watch Maybank CNY series and just like my family's Mi Soa, they are talking about the mysterious recipe for joy. Make sure you watch it and stand a chance to win summer summer local vouchers. King Ong Hwa, okay bye!